it's Ty Matthews again from Today in Gaming, and I'm going to bring you the second tutorial in this series of, tu of tutorials for Skyrim Creation Kit. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make an NPC for your Skyrim mod. So follow along and learn. First, after loading up your mod, you go to this category right here called Actors. Click the plus sign that opens up more folders. Click Actor, singular. And it doesn't matter where, just right click in the menu here, full of all these actors, which can be found in the Skyrim game. Right click, click new, and then you get this new window. So the first thing we see is the traits tab. This is basically what your NPC is built off of. What is his race? his or her race what is his or her race what is their voice type you know are they female or are them they male how tall are they gonna be how heavy are they and to the left there's something else that's always there and then that's a different menu that contains the ID the name the short name and all of this stuff that I am about to get to. So let's break it down for you. The ID is what the creation kit uses to call to certain objects and NPCs, etc. So that you could search for that particular object or NPC, etc. with that ID. So I'm going to give this ID the name of tutorial I know it's cliche Khajiit and yeah so he'll, he'll be a Khajiit and I'll show you how to do that and that's just a second name is going to be I don't know I know this name from Morrowind Drozier and let's just give him a last name in this mod, like Clawfoot. And then in sh short name, this is where where you're only gonna see this in subtitles. It will only display the short name in subtitles. But but when you walk up to them, it'll show the whole name. So I'm just going to cl call this Clawfoot. Usually it's, it's always the first name, of course, but I don't know. Clawfoot seems more easily easier. So now we're going to de determine a few things right here. But first, we have to skip over to the traits tab, which is the first tab of all of these tabs. So go into this, and, and you get goat race, hag, hag raven race, hare race, dwarven centurion race. It has a lot of certain. Um, races which are used in the game for creatures and, and NPCs and things like that. So we're going to go for Khajiit race or at least I, I'm going to make a make a Khajiit. I do recommend that you make your own little test mod to f follow along with me and, and you can learn even more as you go. So skin this actually isn't the skin color or anything, it's just something else that you don't need to worry about. Honestly, you don't have to worry about this. Uh, we'll deal with color of skin later on. This is, is, is like outfit stuff, but the, if the, the actual outfit stuff is in the inventory tab, and I'll show you that soon. Height. You will notice that some certain races are naturally taller than, than uh, others, but this is all is always the default is one, and the reason for this is in the race settings, that is where the height of a certain right race is already determined. The height of a race in general is determined there. The height of a specific NPC is determined here, and Honestly, I think there's n never been anything like two to make it s super huge, so keep it one. 
and weight, I think good goes to a hundred. So let's make our Khajiit seventy-five. And down here, you, you will find your voice type. And this is the default male Khajiit. So when you voice your NPC, if if they have dialogue, this is the voice type that it will refer to. Now back over to here. We have to click OK first so that it saves those settings and then type in Tutorial Khajiit. Alright, there we are. So double click that or right click and click open. It doesn't really matter. I don't really care. <coughs> um, is character gen face preset? That means it's like the preset made for a Khajiit and you don't want that. Or at least I don't want that. And then essential, he will not die. He he is a essential to the game. So so if you d defeat him, he will not die at all. Protected. So protected NPCs are, are, are like his his essentials, but they can only be killed by the player. So so they still can be killed. They're just protected. <coughs> oh man! But from other NPCs. So obviously, I don't want my Khajiit to be able to be killed, and that's just me. So respawn. Uh, obviously, that means if he dies or whatever, he will respawn, and that doesn't make sense here. So I'm not going to select that. Unique, this allows you to access a lot of new functions for this NBC. Aliases can tar target him easier, and that is a good thing if you want to do a quest and things like that. So, I'm going to check that box. Summonable, obviously some of these are self-explanatory, so no. Is ghost, no. Invulnerable, that means he won't be hurt at all and I want him to be more realistic so I don't want him to be invulnerable so let's not check that box doesn't bleed obviously that means no blood simple actor if you click s simple actor then that means the NPC will not use f facial expression or m movement and we don't want that so I'm not going to click that doesn't affect stealth me meter. Obviously, that means that his presence has no influence on your stealth meter, I'm pretty sure. So, I have these two boxes checked now. And also, I'm sure you noticed, actually, you probably didn't, because you didn't care to see. Because I'm sure you were focused on this stuff, and it didn't change too much that now I can add scripts to this in NPC and that's because I checked the unique box see this box can do so much for you it's incredible so so now we're done with that click full again to pre preview our Kakajit obviously he's kinda naked but first click stats and we're, we're gonna choose his level and that's let's just say level 17 and let's give his class let's let his class be combat barbarian now for factions we don't have to mess with that right now if he was say in a town let's say he was in um Iberstead. you would I think it's in this add well, aha. Uh, town I Iverstead faction. That means that he is involved with the Iverstead town. He's part of that town. He lives in that town. He 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 owns the town. Not really. But yeah, you get the point. It it tells you a lot of things about that NPC if you add certain factions inside this box. Assigned crime faction, that's if he he is a guard, for instance. If I ha happen to ha um 
could give him cry infection, Khajiit caravans. That means he is a guard for the Khajiit caravans. And so he will try to arrest you. That's part of that. So, but we, but we don't want him to be a guard, do we? Relationships to other NBCs. I don't really want him to like anyone. Actually, that's not exactly what it means. But I don't want him to be involved with anyone right now. Keywords, things about him that that or that help you to think. I don't know. I don't really care for this. This doesn't affect the game, as far as I know. AI data. We want him to be unaggressive, but want him to be brave, so so that if we attack him, he will fight back until perhaps a certain time. Assistance. Let's say, as I said, we're gonna make this Khajiit a very rude one so he's going to help nobody he doesn't even care and let's set his mood to uh... disgusted just to add to that attitude of his combat style we already gave him a class and this is for characters like creatures and enemies and stuff but this is just a friendly-ish NPC, so we're just gonna leave it, at it, leave it at the default. And that will be it for now. AI packages! There are, this is a lot, this would be a lot to take in. So I'm going to save this for now and explain this to you later. Inventory, now we finally get to give him some clothes. There are some outfits already made, or we can make our own. But right now, I'm going to go simple and give him some fine clothes. That's the one. That's the one I want. So, n n now that I have found that, I right-click in the inventory to give him a weapon. So, what should we give him? Just because I like curved swords, let's give him a scimitar. Preview again, and it looks really nice. Sleep outfit is just the same outfit as this, un unless you specify spell list. You, you you got perks and spells. Since he is not going to be a wizard or anything, let's give him just a perk. Let's add, and I'm going to let him cut off our heads. Because we like him to cut off our heads, don't we? Decapitation is fun. Alright, so... Brutal Khajiit will cut off our heads, and he's got his scimitar ready. He's set to go. And sound level, how loud they are. Animation, you don't have to mess with that, it's already done for you. Isn't that exciting? Same as attack data, character gen parts. We will mess with this after we skip over to character gen morphs. And, and this is how their face will look so let's go over to the brow get it a little higher a little like that I gotta I'm gonna go fast here so as you can see the character gen parts we get to choose his hair color hair though his fur no his fur is, is technically the Khajiit skin so to change that you just scroll through here and let's make it bluish tint dark or I like this brown tint average I like that it's a little more dark for him I like it face obviously you're gonna leave it the way it is unless you want that happening which is Pretty crazy. So, that is our Khajiit. Click full. And that is our Khajiit. That's pretty much it. One last thing. A lot of people have this problem. And I didn't realize this until I looked up on it myself. 
Yes, you can Google it, not go straight to forums. Not that hard to Google it. You click here, because sometimes, the, no, all the time, if you do not do this in the game, your new NPC's face will be gray, and not how you made it before. It'll be different than the other skin color on his or her body. So you click on your new NPC, hold down control, and click F4, and then it'll say this. Export face gen data data for all its selected NPCs. Click yes, and then it says done. Yay, you're free to go. And if you're in all, you can't do it, I don't think. See, you have to be in the actor tab or it'll be super confused. So, that's that. And, and you can hit control S to save that. I hope you learned something. If you liked this, please subscribe for more because, because there will be plenty of more tutorials. In the next tutorial, we are going to give our NPC something to say. Yes, we're already getting into that. It won't be a quest yet. Quests will come soon, though. Later. Later on. But he will be able to say something to our NPC. It'll be exciting. So stay tuned for more.